That's right. Um, I, I'm with Stratagents. I work for the uh, PR company, Communications for Bird's Eye. Awesome. There you go. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. All right, have at it. Have at it. Oh, yeah, what do you want? I was just going to say, maybe we should talk about the program and how this sort of came to be. And I don't know if you want to get us started. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, Constance actually is our chair, so... Well, I, oh, I'm your chair, but you run the whole organization. I do. You're pretty important, Debbie. I do, I do. That's right. Um, I'm Debbie Levin, and I'm the president of the Environmental Media Association, and that's Emma that we refer to. Um, and this is a really special program for us. We started this program 10 years ago because we really felt that we wanted to connect um, growing your own food with for kids with health and environment and kind of bring it all together and encourage kids to eat more vegetables and to really, really bring that home to their families too in terms of, of their family dynamics and teaching their um, parents to cook more vegetables and it was just really important to us. So what we were looking for were schools that went K through 12 schools that um, were ne not necessarily that they didn't have the access or that it wasn't something that was generally going on in their families and so um, this was it started with schools in um, in school in schools gardens in areas that were much more um, at risk and lower income and the kind of places that there's food deserts as we know all over the country and for those of you who don't know what food deserts are, I'm not quite sure where to look here. Um, but it's okay. <laughs> it's, uh, there's so many places from California all across the country where people live in areas that it's really far to go to a grocery store, to go get really healthy food, and they're stuck eating stuff that is processed. And talk about vegetables, no vegetables. And it's really scary for the health of the kids. Mm -hmm. And I think that who you are is what you are when you start out and what you're eating, and that will just take you forever and it's been amazing to see kindergarten kids and high school kids and high school kids at their school gardens end up going to farmers markets it's really a beautiful program really important to us mm -hmm. and when we wanted to take it national bird's eye stepped up right away and they were like this is you know we believe in this and they've been such great partners so that's sort of overall. Which is why Green My School became actually something that could happen because obviously not everybody was born or raised in California or on the West Coast. Right. And um, so it's been fun because they know you went with Lance. We went with Lance to Mississippi. Dance to Mississippi right. And that was so fun to right. go to his hometown. Yeah. And, and there especially it was really interesting because like no one was eating vegetables. And if they were, they were fried. So it was it was a great experience for us. What else? <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> um, I was telling them earlier that right now we eat frozen uh, veggies, but we used to do canned. And uh, that's just how we grew up. And so I love that you guys are doing this. And is there like a message that you can, you know, for the kids, just, uh, I'm just on the spot here. Just well, I the, think, you know, for the kids in regards to eating their vegetables. Yes, well, and you also bring up a good point that I think I was talking about earlier, which is what I don't think a lot of people aware, are aware of is we all know buying organic can be expensive. Mm -hmm. So. What I have learned through this program and through working with Emma, because I've been working with them for over 10 years, is that frozen vegetables don't necessarily have to be organic. You can get the same nutrients from frozen vegetables that you can get from a fresh organic vegetable. So if you're looking for a way to get good vegetables into your family's diet, you can buy them frozen and you're still getting the same nutrients that you would from fresh organic, which to me, I never knew that. I think that's a fact that all moms should be aware of. Yes. And I have another really fun thing about frozen vegetables, which not everybody thinks about doing, which is the way I got my daughter to initially start eating vegetables was by feeding her frozen peas. So do not, don't cook them, 
don't thaw them, you get them and they turn, it's like candy because it's they're eating them frozen. It's like when you do grapes frozen, mm -hmm. it, it turns into, there's something about, you know, the texture of peas that a lot of kids don't like. Right. Um, but frozen peas and what's even more fun, if you just kind of put a little bit of water just to defrost them a little bit, they turn into like clusters. And then for kids, they love picking up like a whole cluster of peas. And before you know it, they've eaten like a giant bowl of peas and they had no idea they were even eating vegetables. I don't oh, know. I love it. It's a That's fun good. fact, you guys. <laughs> fun fact from Tommy Zimmer. That is good. Thank you. Um, Sorry, right? I did you know that? <laughs> I did not know that. See? I didn't know that. And you're a mom blogger. I, right. Well. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to go to I am. You should. I am. It's no, everybody happen. should try it. Yeah. I know I always have moms that after their kids come to my house, they're like, how did you get my daughter to eat peas? And I said, I gave them to her frozen. Like, I had no idea. I didn't even think so about fun. that. Well, because yeah. you don't. Like, why would you give some... Also, kids will eat, like, frozen carrots. Mm -hmm. It's a fat... I don't know. It's a fat... <laughs> <thing. laughs> the fr is, I don't know. It makes them think it's a popsicle. Right. It's like vegetable popsicles, yeah. which is another great thing, by the way, if you freeze, if you make your own popsicles or make your own ice cubes with vegetable juice, but like the vegetable juice that has apple juice mixed in it so it tastes better, mm -hmm. you can put it in ice cube trays and they'll, you'll eat it because if you don't have a popsicle like machine or mold, um, it's a great way for them to get vegetables as well is juice as popsicles. Because there's no vegetable juice popsicles, by the way, bird's eye. I just gave you a golden ticket. Thank you, I'll take 10%. That's right, that's right. Um, by the way, Constance makes everything, if you couldn't tell. So any like questions in terms of that stuff? This is the literally the most crafty human being I have ever met in my life successfully. It's a lot of pressure. It's no, a lot well, of pressure. you know, I mean, that made that's just my life. But <laughs> no, seriously. So, in terms of like inventing these food combinations and um, toys and doll clothes, I mean, really, this is this is the girl. Well, because for me, I'm very much about not putting more stuff out into the world. I try and recycle everything I possibly can. Um, so, you know, she's referring to like, if there's nothing that I can give away to another friend that has kids to hand it down, I will take things that are stained and I will cut them up and I will turn them into blankets for dolls or, you know, you can take like an old, you know, like a little, one of those little onesies that got stained that you can't give to everybody. Instead of throwing the whole thing away, you cut pieces of it up and people have made like stuffed animals out of like the patches of clothes yeah. that is like you know too destroyed to give to somebody it's i don't it seems crazy but it's fun it, i'm yeah. most impressed in the world i just can't believe that she does the things she does it's amazing <laughs> it's, to me i awesome. wish i could do more i wish i could do more i do well you're tired you do i'm tired you guys i'm always very tired <laughs> very tired super tired from being a mom being a working mom is tiring um, exactly. It is. Yeah. But look, I think the gardens are so incredible because I know that it's the way that I taught my daughter when she was very, very young. We had no backyard. We just had a deck. And so we had little wooden, uh, they were almost built into our deck where we could plant the littlest things, which was basil and thyme and parsley and mint. Because with kids, you can teach them about making mint tea. Like something as simple as seeing an herb being pulled out of soil, rinsed, put in hot water, and it makes a tea. And kids love mint tea with honey. And as soon as she saw that, and I think she was maybe like two or three, when she first started like seeing and having the awareness of something going from like soil Around. to like you, um, then she was like, what else comes out of the soil? Uh, well, everything. And then so it became this like awareness of like, wow, if I can do that, other people can do that. And you know, they're doing composting at her school now. So now she's aware of, you know, you can take a banana peel and it can go do better than being just thrown in the trash and recycling. And so it's fun. These gardens to me are like, I, I can't believe that not every school doesn't have gardens because they do so much. They, they teach you responsibility. It's like when kids are given a doll to take home 
to teach them about caring for something, that's I think is also incredibly important. This is just as important. You're being responsible for something that can actually feed you and nourish you and, and you learn from it and you learn what does this go with and why didn't this work and this was too much water and this wasn't enough and this is too much sun and this is too much shade. and You know, it's December, you guys, and we're planting a garden. We're very lucky. We live on the West Coast. Our weather is incredible. So all of us on the West Coast should be doing this in one way or another. And I think that people need to remember that you can do something as simple as basil. And it's one less thing that you're like buying. Rosemary's easier. Rosemary's I even can't easier. Kill that's rosemary. true. <laughs> rosemary's really easier. Yeah. I have a hard time. With and this. also like rosemary and lavender, them being like besides you can put them in baking and cooking, which is nice. But like I just had a whole bunch of lavender plants die because our we did all drought tolerant planting, but they're not heat wave. <laughs> So because things are drip, you know, they're drip line, they're less water, but we had such a crazy heat wave, I lost some of my, what I did is I took all the dead lavender bushes and I dried them and I'm peeling all of the leaves off of them and I'm making little scent pillows, sachets, thank you for the correct word, <laughs> and giving those as gifts. Now, yeah, anybody can do that. You could just go get drawstring bags from a Michaels or something, they sell them by a lot, and you put all this, because it died, it already died. I didn't kill it. Um, <laughs> climate change killed it. Um, and, so they, and so then I just officially pulled them all out of the soil and I dried them and now I'm just putting them in sachets and giving them as presents. So you could do that if your rosemary dies. Really, it smells good even when it's dead. My, my point about, I would never think of that. <laughs> I didn't think of it though until it actually happened. I had like four lavender bushes that I was so sad about. And I was like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And then I was like, oh, I'll try them. So there you go. That's right. What else do you want to know? I mean, I could talk for days if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I could just let you if you wanted to. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are things that you'd want to know specifically from Constance as a mom? And Well, I guess, how do you, how would you drive home the importance of this to, to kids, your kids, and you know, how, besides this program and this great event, what else can be done um, to, to drive the, the idea of fresh veggies home to kids well, and parents? I think the uh, the awareness of gardens in general is what you want to drive home because I know all kids have different habits of how they eat and and it does come from your family it comes from what you are teaching them that's what they're gaining but the thing with gardens is a little bit about what I touched on before is if they see where it's coming from even if you can plant anything from a seed even a child watching something grow and sprout and then it turns into something that they eat is an education that you can't really speak about. Mm. They have to see it. So that's why the gardens are so important because they're watching it grow. They're a part of something from seed to end. And that's something there's, there's just not enough words for that, I think. And that's why I was saying like, even if you're in an apartment, you can grow in a tiny pot, anything you want but make it something that's edible right. just to instill that little bit of responsibility and to see that everybody can grow something and then you're like oh wait and it can also I can eat it I can sprinkle it on something I can add it to a tomato and like you know basil makes tomato taste better and all that kind of fun stuff so I think that's what it is it's just about that we have the opportunity to give a sensory education um, that kids could then go do without their moms being home. They're like, I know I need to go water, you know, my carrots today. It becomes it, a responsibility at that point. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. What's your favorite vegetable? Oh, that's good. That's a good <laughs> question. You know, I have to say, I, I, I do like a good cucumber. <laughs> you know why? Because I like that you can just take a cucumber out of the fridge and just eat it. Like, period. Just wash it. Um, I got my daughter obsessed with cucumbers, the little tiny Persian cucumbers. If you sprinkle a little bit of sea salt on a Persian cucumber, you guys, it's incredible because they're a little sweeter than your average 
cucumber. And I don't know, I like that a cucumber, it's you, the, you eat the peel and the insides. It's not something you have to. And by the way, kids love carrots before they're peeled more than when they're peeled. I don't know if you guys knew that. That was also something that I tested <laughs> out fact. with my daughter. Fun fact. <laughs> There's something that's a little salty before you peel a carrot that makes it a little bit tastier because it mixes with the sweetness inside. And also the, the outside that you peel off is the most nutritious part of the carrot. Fun facts. I do like a good sweet pea though too. A snap pea? Oh, those are so good. <laughs> I like them. I think for bird's eye, it's important too to remember that, you know, even though our veggies are coming out of your freezer, that they're grown on family farms. That these come straight from the ground, just like the vegetables that we're planting here today. That's right. a huge right. thing if yep. they're grown on family farms. Yeah. I, don't, I actually don't think anybody knows that. No, right. generations back. I, yeah, I didn't even, I like that. until I read up on it, I didn't know that it was directly grown, picked, frozen, sh yeah. sh there shipped off. So and it's great. To the point Love Francis it. was making right. earlier about it being right. just as healthy, mm -hmm. you know, that's a message that we try to try to get out too. But that because it's it's a very fast process, right? I mean, you guys can talk about it more, more than yeah. that. Yeah. They're, they're tended daily by our family farmers. They're uh, picked and packed in six hours, flash frozen, and then put into our seed fresh packages so they're available to anybody all year round. Um, but yeah, it's a very family intensive process with our own farms. We spend a lot of time picking our grade A vegetables. That's a huge point that I think would really resonate with people right now because I don't know for with consumers because I'm not they don't even think about that. They think oh it's frozen, it's better than canned, but I don't know anything else. I'm just doing that one step. But to know that that it's just a turnaround right away and that it's family farms and it's not some crazy, you know, technology, whatever. I think that's a really important point. Yeah, yeah. I think understanding yeah. the process even yeah. after after it comes in, they don't add anything to it. It's just straight vegetables, no processing, just flash frozen. So no preservatives are added, no salt, nothing. None of the bad stuff is added. Huge. At all. Yeah. It, it makes your parent feel safe. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, and since they're frozen so quickly, those of us that don't live in California, right? <laughs> where it's beautiful and you can get fresh veggies all year round. You know, up in New Jersey, it's snowing right now. So we can't pick anything. <laughs> so it's great to know that you can still get that nutrient without having, you know, your garden in your backyard. And that's what you should do. All your every you, they, they, you guys have a perfect product to test it out with. Do everything. Try all the vegetables frozen with your kids, and you'll probably find <laughs> like the peas, right? Yeah. That's, that's right. Nice. There you go. Veggie pops. That's right. That yeah. they will. With that they'll probably. Well, exactly. But that's what I mean. It's yeah. like I think it's the awareness of it. Like I yeah. didn't know that about frozen vegetables either until people were like, I can't afford to buy organic. Right. Right. So we started to research and figure out. Oh well, right. So frozen vegetables are just yeah. as good if you cannot get to or cannot, you know. And by the way, it's pay also all of that for organic. Right. It's also better than having something shipped from another country and sitting on a truck yeah. and everything that that entails. Yeah. This is this is really really an important option for people to know why. And it's also better just to to make if you can make one little step to have more vegetables in your life, you know, if if you're great if you can grow it and you live in California in, right. de in December but if you can't and you have the availability and the convenience of frozen vegetables um, our what we talk about all the time is more people eating more vegetables more often and we all have that same message right and also but it's up to us as parents to make that a yeah. priority right I mean, right. that's kind of the point. It's, yeah. It is up to us. Right. It's really up to us because the kids are eating whatever we give them. And they will be raised thinking that's what they should only care about. And, right. you know, the crazy statistics that 9 out of 10 kids are not eating the required amount of vegetables is terrifying to me. My mother would never let me leave the table unless I ate at least one vegetable that was on my plate. I mean... And I just don't know any different. And it's, I mean, my daughter has a one vegetable at least in her lunch, one vegetable always in her dinner. Like, it's not even, there's no question about it. Avocado, I know it's a fruit, but 
a big winner. A very big winner. <laughs> if you want to give them something, if they won't eat any kind of, well, it's a fruit. You can't really include that. But you can also put story. it in your cooking. <laughs> like you <laughs> add things. Like I add green. kale yes. into it. Like you can add all kinds of vegetables into whatever Without you're cooking. Without them ever even knowing. Into pasta. Right. Pasta sauce, right. That's the that's a big one. Yes. Zucchini, kale, anything right. you want. Right. And they just like it because it's your pasta sauce. So. Mm -hmm. I get my kids Avocado is a super food. Smoothies, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Avocado is a super good. Yes, yeah, smoothies okay. and yeah. juices yeah. are also yeah. a really good way to get kids. New business, too. Yeah. Into vegetables. <laughs> it's a new business. Yeah, we have, we have oh, do you? On our site for some smoothies. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 All right. Any other questions? Is that it? Well, we have yeah. It's very educational. Oh, the kids are coming. Oh, okay. The kids, the kids are, are coming. coming. The kids yeah. are coming. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well, if you guys think of something else, what happened? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 They're coming for the sugar. Imagine